Okay. Select the indicator from navigator, drag and drop onto chart. A dialog box opens. About shows details of the of the indicator with the latest version, which is version 1.6. Come on. Allow DLL imports, allow external experts import imports, and you can leave that as default. I sleeve imputes for the moment. Colors, I leave that as default, black. Visualization again as default. All time frames. Inputs, enter GMT correction in hours. This is the number of hours the trading platform is away from GMT. The program is written to indicate to you the number of hours and I will show you that as we progress. Enter the number of Tokyo hours to monitor. Now this is the number of hours the software monitors the Tokyo trading session. I typically leave this at six hours. Heading color. This is the color of the text, the header text that will display the matrix for the filter. Show printout comes up on the terminal tabs, the experts, and just show the printout updates and logs from the software. I leave that as false. Show LOB images. Let us see what that looks like. See if I change that to true. So what did I do? Double click, select it true. Okay. And that's what that shows us. Close this. So the LOB images, just simply a, a visual display of the current day price action and the past three days price action so this is current day day one day two day three away from the current day and on the current day we have the green line which is the tokyo session high price in this case we've got price going up in the previous three days let me see what we will get on another day let's go USD CHF now that is an example of price dropping in the past three days okay turn that back to false then show signal matrix that displays the matrix of the software and what it does is it constantly analyzes 12 different currency pairs all related to the euro and gbp and it monitors the three basic rules of this of the strategy rule one being there must be an intra week trend rule two being that there must be a tight tokyo range if you remember the, the the distance between the green and the red line must be tight and the location of the Tokyo range must also be either at the top or the bottom of the previous day range turn that to fault back to yes in false turn that to false and show comments to true now what that shows us is just a, um, a printout on the screen of um, certain parameters that I, I, I like to see. So that's the ERX Gen Filter version 1.6. Again the rules, rule 1, rule 2, rule 3, again displayed here and up there is telling me it's an uptrend on this pair. So even without seeing the LOB images telling me there's an uptrend on this tight Tokyo range that's okay 
location of Tokyo range is valid if we just placed any of this it still says that's an uptrend that's okay and that's not okay so there was no the Tokyo range the location of the Tokyo range wasn't valid as an example okay and there we have weekday being Friday yes today is Friday the 17th of April the GMT time is 2032 and the platform time is 2032 so there is no correction on this current on this platform if you look that is a platform time 2033 and that's 2033 platform time and the GMT time as, as of now is 2033 and so it says GMT correction this is where you get a guidance on what number to put up the actual GMT correction is zero and so what you enter in that tab will show up on the entered if these two do not match then you need to correct it so it shows us Tokyo high price Tokyo low price the range the distance between the the green and the red light and line and various other other comments so everything true now okay close GBP USD so first rule intra week trend so the past two days or combination of past three days what was price doing there was a trend higher highs and higher lows so that is okay second rule tight Tokyo range and the Tokyo range the distance between the red and the green line must be less than 50% of the average true range for that currency pair and in this pair this gap is less than the average true range for GBP USD and the third rule location of Tokyo range so it has to be located at the top end or the bottom end and in this case the software looks at the top one third and the bottom one third of the previous day range providing price the Tokyo action happened in the in the either the top or the bottom that's it ready to trade and in this case yes it was ready to trade and the good thing about this trading strategy is price can either go either way it can continue to go up or it can reverse either way there is an opportunity to make some money as GBP USD let's go to GBP card GBP card as you can see past two days lower highs lower lows the combination of the three prices coming is, is dropping even from there so there's a downtrend and if you look there that's a downtrend tight Tokyo range you can see again very tight in the time and the location of the Tokyo range again within one third of the previous day's range and see what price did push some good pips there how many pips when price broke above the green 70 pips if you remained on that would have been 95 pips for the past few days USD CHF has been on a downward move again lower lows lower highs in the past three days past two days tight Tokyo range less than 50% of the ATR and look at it where at the bottom end 
bottom one third of the previous day's range. Again, valid setups. Fifty pip move on this valid setup, and that's it. There is either an aggressive or conservative method for trading the ERX gen strategy. With the aggressive method, once price breaks through either the Tokyo high or Tokyo low price, a trade is entered. Whilst on conservative method, once price breaks either the high or low of the Tokyo range, the trader must wait for price to retrace back and retest the breakpoint. And an entry point is placed at the high of the breakout or retracement candle, whichever is higher or lower in the case of a sell trade.